يا قدس يا شدوى البلابل في فمي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My name is Abdul Wahid and during our trip to Masjid Al-Aqsa in the year 2019 we will be exploring all of the Islamic landmarks and shrines in and around Baytul Maqdis. We will remain for seven days and in that duration I will be video recording short clips with a brief commentary of those significant sites we will be visiting inshallah ta'ala. In general the land of Palestine is a blessed land that is replete with memoirs, accounts and prophetic stories. Every corner in Palestine and in Jerusalem in particular has a story to tell. The land of Palestine is a land of Barakah, the land of the prophets, the land of luminary scholars and pious individuals. Masjid al-Aqsa was the station point en route to the Prophet sallallahu miraculous journey of Mi'raj. Masjid al-Aqsa was the first Qibla in Islam, the second masjid to be built on earth and the third holiest site in Islam. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said that no journey should be undertaken except to three masjids, namely Masjid al-Haram, Masjid al-Nabwi sallallahu alayhi wa in Medina and Masjid al-Aqsa. In other words, undertaking a journey with the expectation of reward. Hence, one is entitled to reward just by journeying to any of these three masjids. According to a sound narration, Prophet Suleiman after completing the construction of Masjid al-Aqsa made three special du'as. The first one, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant him deep understanding whereby his judgment coincides with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's judgment. Number two, for Allah to grant him a kingdom not possible for anyone to attain after him. And three, any person who visits Masjid al-Aqsa with the intention of praying Salah therein, then may he be cleansed from his sins before leaving the gates of Masjid al-Aqsa like the day his mother gave him birth. The Prophet said thereafter that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answered the first two of his du'as and I hope that the third one be answered as well. Subhanallah. Now the objective of making these video clips is to educate Muslims of the historical landmarks in Palestine deepen our connection with Masjid al-Aqsa to instill its importance in our hearts and to inspire and encourage Muslims around the world to visit Masjid al-Aqsa. Much of the information provided will serve as a reference guide for visitors to Masjid al-Aqsa. The information provided is basic and to the point I have intentionally avoided detailed elaboration so to facilitate in understanding and memorizing if need be that is the necessary information pertinent to those significant sites. I hope and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the information provided proves useful to you and for more information on Palestine and Masjid al-Aqsa from an Islamic perspective, I would highly recommend you to read a book titled Virtues of Bayt al-Muqaddas by Imam Abu al-Ma'al al-Sharaf ibn al-Murajja al-Maqdasi. Originally written in Arabic and now has been translated into several languages including English. It is a widely available book and the author in this book accumulates all of the ahadith on the subject of Bayt al-Maqdis and Masjid al-Aqsa. All of the video clips are presented in a logical order so to make it easier for the viewer to follow. We will be travelling with Zaytun Tours uh, and will be guided by Mufti Adam Ismail Sahib from Birmingham who I know personally and has been taking groups for many years and who I consider an expert in the field of Palestine. Hence, much of the information provided in the subsequent videos is taken from his lecture tours as well as from my personal readings. I will highly recommend, therefore, that travellers to the Holy Land and interested members to listen to the clip beforehand, so to equip them with basic information before they travel. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our visit and make this as a means of Sadaqa Jariya. The information provided, if they are all correct, then it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through His infinite blessings and mercy. But if incorrect or any information is inaccurate, then it's due to my shortcomings and I seek your apologies in advance. A special thanks to Sheikh Mufti Adam Ismail Saab for his insightful knowledge and to the editor of the video clips. I hope you enjoyed the video clips. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. خافقي إن شاد لغة المشاعر أخ